My fellow Belizeans, on Thursday, April 2nd, a state of emergency was declared in Belize by His Excellency the Governor. This state of emergency does not suspend the Constitution. Ministers of government will continue to have the responsibilities under their portfolios and the work of government will continue. The government of Belize, which was duly elected by the majority of Belizeans in free and democratic elections a little over a year ago, has a sacred duty to work the democratic process in a climate of peace and stability. We have built the foundations of this new nation on the principles of democracy and human rights. But these very foundations are threatened today by those amongst us who try to postpone our rightful destiny as a united, sovereign, and independent nation in Central America. It is threatened by those who try to instill in our people a senseless fear of our own freedom. There is no need to fear freedom. Indeed, Belize can only become safe and secure from external threats by being born as an independent nation with full opportunities to grow and to develop for the benefit of all our people. We will continue to govern and lead Belize to a secure independence with full sovereignty and all our territory intact. This morning, a delegation headed by the Deputy Premier left for London to attend the Constitution Conference. The opposition party was invited to attend this conference, which is scheduled to open at Marlborough House on Monday, April the 6th. On the issue of the Heads of Agreement, I continue to appeal to all Belizeans to let reason and good sense prevail. The Heads of Agreement are a list of 16 subjects for future negotiations. They are in no sense a final agreement. In the negotiations ahead, we are committed to maintaining the full sovereignty and territorial integrity of Belize and to protecting all the rights and interests of the Belizean people. Indeed, the first paragraph in the Heads of Agreement provides that the governments of the United Kingdom and Guatemala recognize and respect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Belize in accordance with our existing and traditional frontiers. This is the essential basis for the future negotiations. More fundamentally, we have given a commitment to submit any final agreement which may emerge from these negotiations to the people for their final decision in a referendum. Thus, the people will have the final say in a referendum to accept or reject any treaty or treaties that may emerge from the negotiations. Let us understand the issue that confronts us now. The real issue is a direct challenge to our democratic way of life. Let us resolve to maintain the democratic process and avoid the senseless and violent confrontation. It is not good for any of us. and It will only breed resentment on all sides. Let us continue to build and to protect our heritage to save Belize with God's help and with the people's support.